Okay, our assembled RF final output stage here, where we have our transistor and the little rice grain bulb and the coil. The antenna simply solders on to the collector wire, the collector and bulb wire right here. I just tack it onto here. It's just a convenient spot to put it on. It's not going to short out against anything. And your ground, the transmitter ground, which you have to have also for any kind of distance, will go anywhere on the PC connection. Now, looking at the bottom of the board, hopefully, okay, this is the wire the from the little loop we're putting in from the uh, 10 ohm resistor. This is the other side of it that joins the positive of the filter capacitor, the 2200 filter capacitor. The negative of the filter capacitor came through this big hole here and then made a U arch jumping over but not touching this connection here, soldering to ground. <clears throat> this is a straight wire from the filter capacitor coming over to the first terminal of the regulator and soldering on here, again touching nothing else. Heat shrink tubing here so that it can't short out against anything. This under this black thing is a 56k quarter watt resistor or 8th watt resistor which is uh, as I said it's inside this black heat shrink tubing and it goes from the positive voltage here from the filter down and joins the base of the transistor, the output transistor. Also a 150 picofarad capacitor going from RF output 150 picofarad also joining the base and that finishes the construction of the transmitter. And to recap again, your uh, audio input, one channel goes right to this terminal right here, the other channel goes right over to here, they jump over here. Remember, be very careful not to make any shorts on these carved out areas here. They, it just goes to the terminal. Make sure nothing hits the ground. Same thing with the added RF components. Right here. Make sure there's nothing. Come on, focus, baby, focus. Why is this thing being a prick? Okay, there we go. Make sure there's nothing touching ground on these terminals here, and on this one that of the coil that comes out and joins the regulator. The reason for the bulb, by the way, is it is a in series with the collector, and it is a safety to prevent any damage in case the antenna gets shorted out. In normal use, this bulb will be anything from a half glow to a very dull glow to almost non-existent. Uh, a lot of it depends on what frequency you broadcast on, but it's there as a safety. And uh, if it's shorted, if it glows brightly, that means there's a short on your antenna. And uh, that just protects that. The coil is just an arbitrary coil, just picked out of my hat. Uh, you can. Uh, you could actually off-board this the whole output circuit and play around with the values to get more range and uh, fine-tune it, whatever you want to do. But for now, that's what this is. All right, now we're going to play with it with power on.